guys, it's Jennifer with Coco Daisy and I wanted to share with you my May setup in my personal size planner. This is the Foxy Fix new ring system and this is the personal wide. And then I'll just jump right in and show you how I have May set up. So at the beginning, I just uh, cut down some of the acetate and put that down. And when I did this, it was still April, so I used this little card. This is from Willie Henry. I just punched that and put it in. And then I get into my setup. This first tab is monthly, and I am currently using the So Much Crafting uh, month on two pages. And then this little dashboard is from Tweety Pie Collage. And I just thought the colors match, so that kind of marks the current month. And then this insert is from So Much Crafting. And I'm just going to list some important dates and birthdays here, some things I want to do, and then some goals. And I just have a paper clip to the current month. And I like to have these in here with my Cocoa Daisies because if I know something is going to be going on, let's say like in June, my husband's on call June 10th, I can go ahead and mark that on this, even though I don't have my Cocoa Daisy kits yet because they're a monthly sub. So that's why I have those in here, kind of for long-term planning. And then I have the rest of the year. And then this is just a little pocket from Filofax and I cut down one of the personal size dashboards. This is actually from the April kit and put that in there and then just a picture of my son on the other side. And then this is the dashboard. I just added one of their tabs. I do use these um, divider labels from Planner Kate because they're removable and they won't damage the tabs. So if I wanted to relabel them, I can do that. And then I'm gonna skip over this because I still have all my April weeklies in here. I need to take them out. Today's the 30th. So those will be getting removed here probably tonight since tomorrow is May. Um, I have the first sheet I decided to use as a plant list, which these stickers are all from the Coco Daisy kit, of course, and just some things I wanted to, to purchase for our patio and um, have some trees removed. My husband needed to do that. And then this is some um, things I need to purchase for summertime, so I didn't want to forget that. And then you turn the page and you are on the Coco Daisy month on two. So I transfer everything over from those So Much Crafting inserts onto this. All of these stickers are from Planner Kate. I think they work really well with the Coco Daisy inserts. This little clip is from Berry Sweet Plans. It was a gift to me from one of my friends and I love it. I think it looks really nice with the colors. This year on one page I have a new idea for. I just designed some stickers so I'll be sharing that little peek with you later but I don't have them ready yet. Um, I punched one of the cards, and then this is the setup for the weeks. So, every week I like to use these week on one page for meal planning. I did use the stamp from last month's um, Day in a Life kit, and so I have my lunches listed. I need to do some dinner planning, and then I just wrote the date down with my Pilot Jute. Pilot G2 ink pen and then any groceries I need to get pertaining to that just stay right here in front of that. And then when you turn the page, um, I don't always use these but I've been feeling a little um, out of routine lately. So I went ahead and put this in. This is from So Much Crafting. It's just a, ha a habit tracker for the week. And then I do Fly Lady Zone Cleaning so that's down here. I don't always put this in, but um, for this week I'm going to use that. And then you turn and you're into the Coco Daisy kit again, which is the week on two pages, and that's what I use for my planning. Um, these are all, again, from Planner Kate, with the exception of this little frog, which I thought was adorable, peeking out of the little grass there. And this is from Chrissy and Designs. Um, I tend to put, like, time-specific tasks on the side under the date and then use the other side uh, just for to-do listing. And then this month I'm trying something new. Usually this is Saturday and Sunday. They come printed that way. I think I might have covered all of them up. Let me check. 
No, I didn't. So you can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That might work really well for some people, but I've been running out of room. So what I did was stole this idea from Christine. I relabeled this as to do. So my weeks that just need to be done sometime during the week, my to do's that need to be done sometime during the week will go down here. And then when you turn the page, I just took a mild liner and drew a line and split this page into Saturday and Sunday. So now I have more room for my weekend tasks, um, which I personally need. And that's kind of what's nice about Coco Daisy is that um, you can change them up for how you need them and what fits your lifestyle or the current season of your life. So like I said, I haven't done that before, but we've been busy on the weekend, so I went ahead and set mine up that way. And then I just repeated that process. So this will be the second week of May. I have um, one of the little notepad sheets in for my grocery list. I'll put my meal planning on my week on one. And then when I turn, I'll be on the second week of May, week on two pages. And um, again, I repurposed this for the to-do section and have my weekends set up here on the back. And then again, repeated that process. So that's it, that's where I'm at. Um, it's a system that's working well for me. I'll probably move this paper clip to the current week so that I don't have to dig to find that. And that's kind of like my page marker for the week. And that's it. Um, I do wanna say one other thing, cause I love how this kind of worked out. This is the personal wide sleeve from the Foxy Fix. And it's the secretarial, secretarial pocket, if you can see. And the Coco Daisy stickers um, sheets fit right in there. So I really liked exactly how they fit. And then I like that you can see them when I have my book open and the inserts are still here, but you can kind of see them peeking out and they're so cute. So I, I enjoy being able to see those. So um, that's my May setup. If you have any questions at all, you can email me at happyplaceplanning at gmail.com and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.